last? <laughs> Do I look tanner? Quick. Yes or no? The lighting is kind of weird right now. But ask me what cup of coffee this is for me today. You guys know I'm a one cup wonder. But today, today we needed two. We needed two. I don't know what it was. It's like since we came back, I guess getting my 12, 14 hours of sleep, coming back and then being woken up has literally just thrown me for the biggest loop in the world. I literally could not open my eyes this morning. They were burning. I could not open them and I don't know what it is. But we're back from Phoenix. Tomorrow is Father's Day. So knowing me, you know I have to get a move on things and we gotta start blowing stuff up now. Oh, Amazon is still burning. And we gotta get a move on things, but I need to get that package first. I've literally had package after package coming in. I've had to literally hide boxes. Various places. So that my snoop of a husband doesn't find anything. I literally was like, don't look at the Amazon cart. Don't look at anything I have saved on Amazon. Just don't open the Amazon app at all. Okay? Until after Sunday. Then had the nerve after I had a package delivered, it mostly had Roman stuff in it, which was good. The balloons and stuff were on the bottom, so I don't even think he saw it. But I'm really like, get out of my package. And he's like, well, why would you have it open? That's not the point, baby. That's not the point. For the most part, we're going to be doing a lot of home stuff this week because we're supposed to get our second round of like tropical storms or whatever. So we're going to be stuck inside. So naturally, to prepare to be stuck inside, besides getting the essentials, you know, like water, candles, all that good stuff, I ordered furniture and decor because who would I be if I didn't? I ordered a new rug for the entryway. I ordered a new rug for our bedroom, which I'm so excited for because I've been waiting for like two months for it to get back in stock in the size I need because I had a six by nine. Girl, I have a king bed. Girl, you need an eight by 10. Why do you have a six by nine? And I always wondered why it looked so wonky and I didn't like it other than the rugs just weren't, weren't for me. I'm slowly transitioning the entire house to wool rugs because Tyler has a wool rug in her room and I absolutely love the way it feels. I love how padded it is. So I don't have to worry about when Roman's on it or anything. So we're gradually just switching over all the rugs. That and most of them are black and black is just not here to stay. So also ordered another runner for their little hallway and I need to order like two runners for both sides of the kitchen because the kitchen is so freaking big. I could literally fit an eight by 10, but I know eventually we're going to be getting an island in there. So it doesn't make sense to get eight by 10 rug and then not have anywhere for it to go when we do an island. And I'm trying to go room by room. So I'm trying to focus on finishing the entryway. The last thing I need in the entryway is to hang up this mirror, which we got a concrete drill brick so we can hang up the mirror and I can show you the new mirror since we got a new one. I also have to show you the new dining table because it's all put together, which you guys probably already saw in the last vlog, a little glimpse, but I didn't officially show it off. And then um, we need like, uh, I, I'm debating on if I want like a cordless lamp to go on here or sconces on both sides of the mirror. And I'm leaning towards sconces, but then I got to call an electrician and it's just, that's a whole lot. That's a whole lot, but that aesthetic will look better. It will look cleaner that way and some artwork for both on this little wall right here and that big wall right there need artwork i have canvases i just need to actually do them and what better rainy stormy week activity to do than paint but for now we need to blow up these balloons i'm talking too much i'm talking too much roman's still sleeping but we finished and i don't have an a i have two d's and no a so amazon's gonna hear me <laughs> I got my freaking weed right here, bro. Oh, baby, I wanted this hug. Bro, this shit is hilarious, bro. Wrapped up in this hug. I kid you not when I tell you 
that my husband has literally been outside since 9 a.m. It is 11.30, cutting the grass and using his weed whacker. Like, I don't know when he turned into such a dad, but the man is in his element right now. He literally opened his weed whacker right away, put his new AirPods in and has been outside ever since. He's not come in once, not for water, for nothing. The only thing he's come in for, a new battery to go right back outside. We're trying to mount the TV in our room. Finally. But someone didn't buy batteries for the stud finder and does not trust me that we don't need the stud finder if we're using wall anchors. I mounted plenty of TVs in my time of living. He's acting like I didn't live without a man before. We already know I get stuff done with him without my man. or cellular blinds because the kids have cellular blinds we have cellular blinds in our room but i'm thinking because they need to be more decorative in the entryway area our new rug set <laughs> because it feels like it's never done. So we're finishing the entryway and these knobs came with the console when I got it, but I haven't loved them. So I ordered some knobs and we're gonna switch them out to these babies. I think they look so good. Like that's so much of an upgrade. It's so simple but effective. So I'm gonna switch them out and I think it'll work because we've got the wood tones and then this little marble will double off with the, the creamy color of paint and then the mirror is also a cream color. But then also the taupe rug that we're working with now. It's all in the details, baby. Rise and shine. I kind of ate that, not gonna lie. Good morning. Another day, another package, another home project. So, you guys know we have a lot of natural light. We have a lot of windows in here. But in the summer, the sun and the UV rays are so intense in Texas. I used to wonder why nobody opened their blinds ever. Like you could go anywhere and everybody's blinds would always be closed. Now I understand. Cause my curtains stay drawn until about two, three, when the sun is like over the house instead of coming straight in. 
and it's because the sun is so strong. Like I can literally feel the heat right here and I'm still like, I'm still pretty far away. And we have this one window in our kitchen. You guys know because I vlog here all the time. This window right here, literally, literally, I kid you not, brings in so much sun, so much heat. And I didn't realize it until like probably last week I was walking by and I walked into the kitchen and I felt the huge heat difference. And I'm like, why is it so hot? The curtains are closed in the dining room. The curtains are closed in the living room. Why is it so hot? And it wasn't that door, it was this window. And I was like, yeah, something's gotta give because we're using so much energy and I'm not trying to have a $300, $400 utility bill. I mean, who do I look like? So I found some Roman shades because this is not gonna put curtains right there. So I needed a cute blind. Cellular blinds weren't gonna cut it for me. I needed something that could literally block that, those UV rays, right? But still look cute. So I found a Roman shade on Amazon. Came yesterday. And I'm gonna try and hang it up for that window. But it's literally just like this linen beige color. And she's cute. She's cute. And I feel like she'll get the job done. So we're going to try and hang that up right now and see how well it looks. See how well that goes. It's kind of like, it's like a deeper beige. If you guys can tell. I don't know if it's showing up good on camera. But let me see if I can do like a, a comparison for you. Oop. Let me see if I can do a comparison. So this is my wall, my lime wash wall. This is the Roman shade. And then these are the curtains. These are lighter beige than the Roman shade. So I think it should work out perfectly. We're gonna see how hard it is to do and how good they look. And if they end up looking good, then these are what I'm gonna go with for the entryway because I'm tired of people being able to look into my house. where the light just hits so good on like the right side of the house and I was looking and I don't think I showed you guys what the rug looks like in our master bedroom it literally looks so good especially with how the light is hitting in here Bobby. do you guys see this like a rug literally makes the biggest difference it's literally the most perfect thing it's so freaking soft like so soft Wool rugs are the go-to, especially if you have kids, because one, you can't tell that anything is on here. There's probably so much dog hair and you can't even see it. It literally just looks so good against these wood tones and these creamy, oh my goodness, it just feels so <gasps> homey. I don't know how to put my finger on it, but it's coming along so nicely. I just need to get some nightstands because these black nightstands, baby, they should have been gone. Should have been gone. But it's just like a uh, chef's kiss. Loki want a new comforter. Loki want to stain my bed to like a more medium wood. But like I'm going to wait till everything's in here and not get ahead of myself because you guys know how I get.